Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah are four young Jewish men taken to captivity in Babylon at the beginning of the book of Daniel. One of the first things the Babylonians do is change their names, which raises the question, what did their Hebrew names mean in the first place? Hi, my name is Pete and in 2024 I'm reading the whole Bible in its original languages, Hebrew, Aramaic and Greek, I'm using a reading plan that I wrote myself which is available in an ebook of release for free. Today I read Daniel chapter 2 verse 17. Daniel's life and the life of all the wise men of Babylon has been threatened by the mad king Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel has set up a meeting with the king to try and resolve the situation, but before appearing before him, he consults his three Jewish friends for counsel and wisdom. And the interesting thing about this verse is that it uses the Hebrew names of the four characters, even though all of them receive Babylonian names in the first chapter. It reminds the reader that they have an identity separate to their lives as Babylonian technocrats. And for readers of the text who are familiar with the Hebrew language, it evokes the meaning of their names as you read the verse. So what do these names mean? Daniel is Dani El, judgment of God. Hanania is Hanan, Ya, the Lord is merciful. Mishael is Mi, Sha, El, who is this God? Or perhaps it could be read as who is as God. Azar Ya is Azar Ya, the Lord helps. You can see why the Babylonians would want to change these names. They make claims that directly contradict the Babylonian religion, worldview and political ideology. This year I'm reading the Aramaic portions of Daniel and Ezra spread out throughout the year. On average, one Aramaic verse every couple of days. So if you want to read the rest of the Bible with me in 2024 in the original languages, then details on my Bible reading plan and ebook reader, which is free to download and use, can be found in the description below. And if you like the video, please like the video. And if you want to get video updates of my whole Bible read through in the original languages in 2024, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching.